Hi guys, Adam here from DanceReviews.tv in association with Dance Planet TV, and today I'm going to be a reviewing for you something new. We haven't done these before. A new company that started sending us some stuff to review, so I'm very lucky and very blessed. We've got some bottles and darts. So uh, let's go and see what's inside this box. But I'm going to give you a little clue on these ones because we could play a game with the bottles and ones because we're not sure what's inside these ones. I'll give you a clue. These ones might be named after a shark. Or maybe someone who's got a head that's in the shape of a hammer. Let's go and find out. Right there guys, here we go. Here's a closer look at the Bottleson GT Hammerhead Dart. So these are the 25 gram GT Hammerheads. First little glance at the box comes with this nice little snakeskin finish. The box all ready to go. And there's nothing else on it. Um, basically, you've got your case ready to go. So you pop it open like this. And what do we get inside with these ones? So we've got our little checkout card. Flip the checkout card over and it just uh, shows us some of the other bottles and products so like i said these are the 25 grams so little thing with the hammerhead darts and the gts and etc there is so there's loads of different darts in the range so it's always good when you see the ones you like just note down this little serial number here so we've got 25 5 gt3 so the 25 obviously stands for the 25 gram and then the gt says what it is these are the gt and uh, the free bit, not really sure, must be the Series 3 ones. So it says here, the are Precision Weight GT World Record Darts Hammerhead No Bounce Out Darts. So that's a bold statement, isn't it? And then a little right up here, darts are not toys. So remember that, don't throw them at people. And a little guarantee comes with them. So the other little thing that we come with, we've got, if you notice in the box here, we've got some of these interesting stems. Nothing on them there, and a really a fine little milling in there. Well, I will show you why that in a second. We've got some more of the hammerhead flights there, and we've got this little sneaky little tool there as well, which I might pop out if I can get it out. And that I will show you in a moment as well. But first off, a little bit there, just remind us, made in the US of A. So the hammerhead dart itself, we will take one out and have a closer look. It is very much, as you can see, a front-loaded, front-weighted dart. And back here, we are now starting to see why we've got these special little stems, because these, are the normal standard stems will not fit in here because it is so narrow at the rear. So what you get is these little bits on there. And then obviously, if you wanna, you keep these and use this little bit in there. So obviously this unscrews and, um, you, that basically attaches your stems. So, the dart itself, let's have a little read about it. So, the GT Hammerhead 90% tungsten dart has been the most desired dart among professional dart throwers for over 30 years. The hand machine barrel is front loaded and features a continuous taper. Boom, that's that bit. Now, when they say professional dart players, what you guys have got to remember is Bottleson are an American company and uh, big in the soft top world and also big in the steel tip world. However, in more so in America. So obviously, you know, a lot of guys, you go over to the States and you're playing some soft tip, nine times out of 10, someone's going to be chucking some bottles and darts. So very much a ringed grip. However, the cut is cut slightly this way. So you get more. So basically, if I run my finger this way, it feels almost smooth. Run my finger this way and feel a bit of grip. This here is another little sneaky thing. So this is what eradicates the bounce outs. The point bounces. So in theory, if the point moves and it hits something, it might just find a way to get home. And now what we need a tool for, we've got this little bit here, slide down there. If you want to change your points, turn that and they just unscrew like so. So I'll screw this back in, put that in like that, and we'll go and have a throw. Right there guys, here we go. We've got the hammerhead darts overboard, tire quick nine or 12. Let's see if we get some good scores, here we go. Oh, it's a tight old 55. Nearly. Here we go, this time. One hundred eighty. Oh. All around it, 45. We'll have one more handful of these. Hey, 
81. We'll go to that summary, Lewis. All right, then, guys. So, a quick summary on the GT Hammerhead darts. These were the 25 grab ones. And the, so the point, actually, I like it. I genuinely do. It, uh, when I was thrown, and my first thought was, oh, the old Keith Della spring loaded point dart back in the days. Some of you young pups watching that will be like, who's Keith Della for one? And what are you talking about, spring uh, point tips? Well, let me tell you, he did have some, and they were about, and they were even a little bit before my time. However, these aren't quite like that. They do move, but when they're in your hand, very solid. When they go in the board, they just give you that extra thing. I didn't have a bounce out, so that's the theory behind it. I'm sure if I threw for an hour or two, I must get one bounce out. But what I liked was when I went to take them out, you could feel they're really in the board as well. I mean, I know I've thrown them hard, but that adds it. So guys, I've told you about that. Uh, the grip on it was actually quite a nice little grip. Um, very much a front-loaded dart, very much front weight is. Um, the stem bit at the back, that's something new as well because the barrel was so thin at the back, obviously a normal stem wouldn't fit in there, but you get your spares, and I'm sure on the bottom of the website you can buy extras as well for that. Now, I get to the price bit. So obviously us guys in darts are used to darts that range from about the £40 to maybe the £80. And then we get like the top, top, top darts, these big darts, which go over the £100 price mark. And these darts are in that. These darts are actually £171. Um, so for that, I honestly can't tell you guys if they're worth that. I don't know. But what I will say is they're a really nice dart. Um... Would I buy a set of hundred seventy one quid? Probably not, but that's because I'm quite poor. Um, but if uh, I could afford them, I'd, I'd maybe be tempted to. So I'll let you guys decide on that. Um, but obviously, that price is a little high for me. Um, all in all, though, a really nice dart and uh, very popular across in the states. Um, so I suppose really we've got to take all that into account, haven't we? So if you've got a set, or you know someone who's got a set, or if you're watching in the good old US of A and you've been playing with these, please, 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 leave your reviews at www.dartsreviews.tv, or better than that, go on the Google Play Store, whatever it is for your iPhone people, download the app, turn your notifications on, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers, bye.